Hi and welcome back to my channel. I have a lot of junk journal inserts laying around here to uh, put into a traveler's notebook. I would like to fill these journals and I thought why not filming the process. Here is a quick flip through of one of my inserts. I've used design paper that is laying around for a long time, also tea dyed paper, paper bags or book pages. Um, this is a encaustic paper that was colored with watercolors and I use also uh, one of my doilies where I have hundreds laying around and I sewed everything together with my sewing machine. Instead of collecting my ephemera for a junk journal in a box or an envelope, I use some of them and staple them together, so I have always a little booklet where I can tear out the pages. These junk journals are great to collect things like tickets or prospects from an adventure tour or things like that. I'm not going for a perfect spread in these junk journals. It's just to create a quick and nice page where I can write some important things. I also use my washi tape in these journals, uh, which is perfect because I have so many of them. I have this stamp lane here, it's from Rubber Dance, but I have never used it. It's um, a vintage ticket kind of thing. I stamped it with the oxide walnut stain onto some tea tight paper and I color it in with watercolors. I'm playing with the Arteza watercolors again. I did a few videos recently where I've used these watercolors, so um, I will link you up uh, to some of the videos in my description box if you're interested in these watercolors. Now I'm going in with white gesso and I apply it with a palette knife because I really like the texture that it adds to the page. I also try to leave a smooth area where I can do my writing later. I always try to repeat the colors that are on my page, so I want to use some yellow because one of my washi tape tickets is yellow. While the watercolor is drying, I am sketching two flowers onto watercolor paper with a permanent ink and I just try to um, create the same flowers that are on my little picture that I've added to the page. I'm not going for a perfect drawing or coloring, it's just to play with my paints and fill the page in a nice way.
I cut the images out and leave a white border around them to make them pop from the background. Now I found the perfect place to add the little stamped image. I decided to pick some design paper and add it to the bottom of this page. For kind of a balance, I also add the same paper to the next page. I wanted to have some more brighter colors on my page and I add in some pink. But finally I don't like the result and I will tone it down a little bit with white gesso. I'm almost done with the page. I will do my writing off camera because I want to write some personal things that I don't want to share with everybody. I hope you enjoyed this kind of video today and I'm curious to know what you are doing with your junk journals, what you are writing in or what you are using them for. Please tell me in the comments about it. Thank you so much for watching today, please consider subscribing and give me a thumbs up. Bye!